Now, as the impacts of the storm system inch closer to central Florida, residents of Volusia County are gearing up for the possibility of damage. Watch well, as Luana Munoz is in Daytona Beach tonight. Luana, do residents there seem concerned or worried? You know, it really just depends on who you talk with. Some people are just say that this sort of comes with the territory of living by the beach, but other people who actually live on the shore, they're much more concerned tonight. Like one woman we caught up with whose name is Linda Abbott. She's been living at her home for the last 32 years out in Wilbur by the sea, and she says she survived five storms already. Now, Wilbur by the sea is an area that was devastated following Hurricane Nicole. After that, Abbott had lost her stairway to her beach, and while her seawall has done its job over the years, she worries if this time she won't be so lucky. My neighbor, um, they just had their seawall removed and starting to put up a new one and it's now gone. I'm concerned that I could lose my seawall this go around. Um, I hope not. We'll know on Monday. Yeah, when you live on the beach, it's great. I love it. I, you know, I wouldn't be here this long. But you have to face the fact that you're kind of getting up there in years, and it's just, you know, there is more maintenance on the beach. Yeah, yeah and city officials out here have already urged residents to remove any Christmas decorations or debris that could bring harm or damage during the storm. They're also urging people to stay away from the waters out here. The red flag warnings have already gone up, and they will remain in effect throughout the weekend. Reporting live in Daytona Beach Shores tonight, I'm Luana Munoz. Back to you.